This is my iPhone 12 Pro unboxing video. My previous iPhone was an iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, there's several reasons I'm upgrading to the 12 Pro. I'll walk, I'll walk through the major reasons for that, but just the major ones that made me decide it was time to upgrade from the 8 Plus. Uh, starting off with the screen size, uh, one of the things I didn't like about the 8 Plus is it's a little too big for my hand. When you're trying to type with one hand or you're just trying to navigate the screen with one hand, it's just slightly too big uh, and it makes it quite awkward. Interestingly enough, the dimensions of the iPhone 12 Pro are actually smaller in every way than the iPhone 8 Plus, but the screen is bigger. The screen on the 8 Plus is 5.5 inches, while on the iPhone 12 Pro it's 6.1 inches. So the screen is bigger, but the phone itself is smaller, and that's because of the reduced bezels. Uh, the weight is also less. Uh, the iPhone 8 Plus is 202 grams, and the iPhone 12 Pro is 189 grams. This case with my iPhone 8 Plus is ZVE Club case, and I combined it with my wallet, which I really liked having it all combined. Um, so I carry two credit cards and my security card in here. And then in the other side, I had my driver's license, my bank card, and then a couple of business cards. This is basically five or six credit cards, and then a couple of business cards on top of that. Moving to the iPhone 12 Pro case, I gotta figure out how to get that down to three. Uh, so that, that'll certainly be a challenge. Having, being able to pay though, and the eight plus can do this as well, being able to pay and more merchants are accepting phone as a payment method will certainly help out in that endeavor. Um, this case, by the way, for, for the 8 Plus was a beautiful case. I absolutely loved it. Uh, it gave good protection. Uh, it's rubber all the way around. The, the edges are slightly raised so it never sits completely on its face. And it's a good size wallet for what I needed it for. And in a pinch, I could uh, uh, slide um, receipts and, and bills and things and here's a, here's an example with some money I could fold them up and then stick them underneath there and then close it and that would work for me to get it home and then when I got home I just unload it every night uh, my receipts and whatnot and get it ready for the next day Uh, another feature that I'm looking forward to exceptionally is the peak brightness. The iPhone 8 Plus had 625 nits and the iPhone 12 Pro had 1200 nits. And you didn't notice it very often except when you're outside in the sunlight. Then you would, you would see it where the, the iPhone 8 Plus, it just couldn't get bright enough. Almost twice the brightness, I, I'm, I don't think that'll be an issue anymore with the 12 Pro. <laughs> Uh, the biometrics 8, Pro, 8 Plus had a, uh, a fingerprint biometric and I enjoyed that quite a bit. I would register three fingers. It was fairly accurate. I very rarely missed uh, one of those fingerprints working. From what I've heard and talked to other people, I'm a little bit concerned that you know the face recognition sort of for three quarters of that will be excellent. There are some scenarios where you'll have to type in your pin number. Now, you know, those scenarios I understand are at night and with a mask on, but the big change will be when I'm outside or out and about with uh, uh, wearing a mask, it won't be able to read my face. That's a bit of a concern. The main camera between the two, I mean, roughly they have the same spec. The iPhone 12 Pro though has some significant upgrades in terms of the GPU. It doesn't mean a whole lot to me. It, it, what, what matters to me is what you can do with it. And so between the GPU, uh, the third camera, uh, the low light pictures, I'm expecting a big uh, uptick in its ability to take pictures in low light. For my job, I use my camera quite a bit. I use it to scan documents. I use it to take pictures when I'm uh, looking at different properties or touring certain facilities or quoting on certain projects, I'll use the, the camera to take pictures to uh, supplement that ability. 
I'm looking forward to being able to catch additional details and, and depth in the pictures uh, to have that increased quality component. The main back camera, I think the iPhone 12 Pro is significantly better than the 8 Plus. On the front camera, I'm really looking forward to it because when I shoot video or, you know, I'm always trying to stay away from the front camera because it's so poor on the 8 Plus that, you know, causes complication. With the 12 Pro, it's just such a significant increase in, uh, from 7 megapixels to 12 megapixels. I'm hoping that becomes an on, a non-issue now. The cell bands, the, you know, the specs on paper look roughly the same. The, the 12 Pro has the 5G. You know, certainly where I live, 5G is not a thing. So I'm not expecting to get any uptick from that. In fact, I'll probably turn it off so that I'll get better battery life. I am help, hoping though, we live uh, out on the edge of town. Consequently, the, the cell signal on my previous phones have all been around one bar most of the time when I'm at home, sometimes two. I turn on Wi-Fi calling and I've found that uh, Bell Mobility is excellent on the Wi-Fi calling component. It, it never missed a beat when I was at home in terms of that connectivity component. Now on Shaw Mobile and uh, the Wi-Fi calling is isn't very good at all it drops significantly and you know usually within the first 10 minutes of the call it drops and it, honestly it's unusable the 12 pro i'm hoping that the cell signal will be uh, that much stronger and uh, be able to rectify that situation i have uh, speaking of wi-fi the 12 pro has wi-fi 6. Uh, i kind of see that as a future proof i like to hold my phones for three to four years you know, maybe in two years time, Wi-Fi 6 will be a thing in, in, in my circles and in my home. Uh, but right now, that's certainly not the case. Uh, so it's a nice future proof component, but uh, it's not something I'm expecting uh, in the near future. And so consequently, it's not that big a deal to me. Piece is the iPhone 8 Plus was announced September 12, 2017. So it's been three and a half years almost. Since, since the release of the iPhone 8 Plus, the 12 Pro was just announced uh, October, so a couple of months ago, 2020. And so it, it's in that three-year band. Yeah, those are the main, main reasons for me to upgrade. Having said that, uh, let's go through and, and do the unboxing. So let's take a look at it. So the case here is, I mean, the wrapping on it is pretty cool. The uh, says here iPhone 12 Pro Pacific Blue 256 gigabytes. My 8 Plus, curiously enough, was uh, 256 gigabytes as well. It's a, it was a maxed out unit. This one, there's another version that's got 512 gigabytes. That let's uh, continue on with the un unboxing. Uh, this is a really nice feature, having just gone through Christmas and had to tear plastic apart and plastic that can cut your hands and you're using scissors and knives to get into it. This is a very nice, smooth, well thought out packaging uh, from, from Apple. Uh, boxing is quite a bit smaller than it has been in the past. That just feels so nice. Well, I love the color Pacific Blue. Not a scratch on it. It's done very well. Uh, on the one hand, I really like this shiny kind of metal type finish around the edges. It makes it feel real, very premium, but it also is a fingerprint magnet. It doesn't matter a whole lot because at the end of the day, I'm going to put a case on it. So, you know, all this will be covered up. It'll just be the screen component. Okay. Wow, that is a nice unit. The button profile is very similar to my 8 Plus. It, you know, it has the same kind of volume up, volume down. It has the same uh, mute button position. The same power on, power off position. Uh, same lightning bolt, uh, lightning connector. Pardon me, lightning bolt connector. I, I always thought I was curious. They have sort of looks like five holes here for, for uh, speakers and on this side there's only three. I've always been impressed with uh, sound that these devices produce, especially considering how small they are. 
Uh, I'll be curious because my 8 plus, when I really wanted it to be louder, I would uh, put it into a bowl or a, a large uh, coffee mug or something and that would amplify the sound uh, quite a bit and make it a little more uh, penetration into the room. Uh, in the box, USB-C connector with a lightning connector. There is no power in the uh, in the box. I'm quite disappointed that there's not power in the box. Uh, I have to say, you know, I've never held a phone for very long without putting uh, a screen protector on it. The screen protectors I use are glass. When you crack an iPhone screen, it shatters. Um, or it does a crack and then it eventually shatters across. And the shatter leaves these black uh, crack marks on the screen and it quickly becomes unusable. Whereas uh, a third party glass screen that goes on top of this, uh, the ones that we use, you can't see the cracks. You have to turn the phone just at the right angle so you can see the crack. And so you can literally, you can have hundreds of cracks on the screen but it's you can't tell they're there unless you hold it up to the light in just a certain direction. You can't feel it with your finger. Uh, so the phone is still very usable. And then on top of that, to replace that third party screen, it's $15 Canadian. Whereas if you replace the screen on the iPhone, it's like $200 and they have your phone for a while. For me, from everything I've heard, I understand the phone, uh, iPhone 12 Pro is much more resilient to cracking now, but I haven't heard good reviews around the scratching component of it. And as a consequence, uh, at my first opportunity, I'm going to get uh, a proper uh, screen protector on that again, using the same products that we used, used before. You need to be Houdini to get this part. Oh, there we go. Ooh. So this is Apple's iPhone 12 Pro leather case. And I have to admit, that's quite nice. I really like that quite a bit. I'm really looking forward to trying the uh, the wireless charging component of it. Um, as I mentioned previously with my previous phone, the, the 8 Plus can be charged the same way uh, wirelessly, but because I had my wallet there, it, it didn't allow it to, or I'd have to kind of fold it out of the way and then kind of put it onto the charger and kind of fiddle with it till it it's not the experience that I'm looking for. Uh, you know, I want to just plug it in and know that it's going to run and charge. And so I'm looking forward to trying Apple's wallet component to stick that to it, stick to it here. And then in the evening, uh, when I go to charge my phone, I just take the wallet off, put it beside it, and put it onto the Apple charger, and that it will charge that unit overnight during my downtime. What else do they have in the box here? Not much going on there. Oh, that's kind of weird. It feels like there's something underneath there, but there's not. It doesn't doesn't come apart. It's just that's kind of weird. Well, it fits. I'm very particular about my cases. Ah, yeah, it's perfect. So I don't know if you're able to see this or not, but there is a lip. There's a very definite lip around the edge, and I really like that. So when it sits face down on a surface, it's not resting on the screen. So if you move it around, it's not scratching back and forth on your screen. Uh, this screen, without uh, usually the screens that I put on there, they have a bit, a bit of fingerprint resistance on it. This has no fingerprint resistance on it, and it's kind of got a static cling to it. So the dust sticks to it quite easily. There's good bumper protection around the edge. I like the leather because it, you know, it has a bit of give to it, but it's a very nice finish for, for a cell phone. That concludes my review. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in uh, the section below. If you like this video and like to see more, uh, I could do a review of the iPhone 8 Plus because uh, I have that. Um, and if you would like to, uh, if you like my show, uh, please hit the like button.